you're having problems with graphics when you play a game or use your computer. It's possible that the problem is your graphics card. In some cases, a simple fix is to refresh the graphics card. If you have no idea how to do that, this guide will show you how to do it. If you're having problems with graphics, stuttering, or freezing of the user interface in a game, it could be because of your graphics card. People who use PCs for games already know this. It's not unusual for a graphics card to break. And when it does, it can cause a lot of problems. Use the key combination Win plus CTRL plus Shift plus B to quickly restart the graphics card. This will just restart the graphics card without shutting down any games or programs that are currently running. If your GPU is broken and your screen has frozen or stopped responding, you can restart the graphics settings by restarting the system as a whole. Most of the time, a gaming screen that doesn't respond still lets the system work. In this case, you can press CTRL, Alt, and Del at the same time and wait a few seconds. You should now see a black screen with a few options. To get to the power options is what you want to do. The power button is on the right side of the bottom. Click on the icon that looks like a power button and choose restart. broken or corrupted graphics driver is another thing that could cause some gamers to have display problems. You must either reinstall the graphics driver or upgrade to the latest version. Many times, old display drivers don't work with the latest Windows update, which stops the display drivers from working. Here are the steps to reinstall the graphics driver. Press the Windows key and type devmgmt.msc in the search box. Expand display adapters. Right click on the graphics card you're using. Make sure to select the correct one if you have more than one graphics card installed. Select uninstall device. Restart your computer. You can reset the GPU and BIOS by turning on BIOS caching which copies the video BIOS from ROM to the computer's RAM. The GPU needs to be reset in the BIOS because the video performance is bad. This is because the BIOS caching on your graphics card has been turned off. While in BIOS find video BIOS cacheable. Under advanced chipset features, change the setting to enable. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.